What is good, Stealth Army, and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are all doing great, having a fantastic day. Today, I'm doing something a little different. I'm going to be reading the comments that you guys leave on my videos, and more than likely, I'm going to regret this. So, this should be a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to be reading comments from my latest videos, from really old videos, so it should be an absolute blast. I'm really excited about this because you guys be leaving some ridiculous comments sometimes and it should get a little wild. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. If you can do me a huge favor, okay? Because we've been crushing a thousand likes every single day and the support has been really crazy lately. I just can't thank you guys enough. Destroy the like button for me. Hashtag that stealth army as well because you know the routine. You know the drill. Let's get straight to it. I don't know. I feel like this is a bad idea. I don't even know how I got this idea to begin with, but I might as well just commit to it. So this comment is by James7 and it's posted on my Minecraft story mode is going away forever video. So RIP Minecraft story mode. Let me know if you guys actually played that game. It was fantastic. I honestly feel nostalgic when seeing Minecraft story mode. I don't know how to describe it, but it's hitting me so hard when rewatching Minecraft story mode in 2021. It makes me sad when it discontinued. Thank you, Mojang Telltale, for making this amazing storyline games for me and us to enjoy. So I agree. It was definitely very sad to know that Telltale's was closing. And like I said, RIP minecraft story mode you never know what the future is gonna bring though like they could actually bring it back somehow but let me know if you actually played season one and season two of minecraft story mode this next one is such a common one i see it all the time on my channel and it's by roger ellis and roger posted this on my 1.19 hint video where i talk about a major hint that i discovered on feedback so definitely check that one out but roger posted another dimension would be great I agree with this 100%. I think a lot of people are just inspired by some really amazing mods from the past, like the Aether mod, which I believe just turned 10 years old. So shout out to the homie King Bee Dogs for just being amazing. But a new dimension would just be incredible. I mean, it's been such a long time, and I think a lot of people are just ready. I know more than likely we'll see an update to the end first before we get a new dimension, but it's not going to stop people from just being inspired from just hoping that we eventually get something new in terms of a dimension. So share your ideas down below. This next one was posted on my Warden video by Izzy the Artist, and I wanna say thank you guys for all the crazy support on that Warden video. Like, we got a lot of Warden fans, a lot of people a part of the Warden fan club, so I'm definitely gonna do a part two next week. Expect more tweets by the homie King B Dogs in regards to the Warden, but Izzy said, What's with the scythe? So in my thumbnail, I have the warden, I have King B Dogs, I have a chest with the scythe in it. The scythe itself isn't confirmed. It's basically a scythe I pulled from Minecraft Dungeons. However, in that thumbnail, you can see a tweet by King B Dogs where he talks about not liking the idea of the warden dropping items or even XP. Instead, the loot the treasure in the deep dark is the incentive special treasure so more than likely we'll either have like the best type of loot in the deep dark or new type of loot so we might end up finding new types of weapons and armor like i don't know you guys can definitely speculate as to what you would like to see in the deep dark itself special treasure literally could mean anything so who knows exactly what type of items or rewards we're going to find in the deep dark I'm imagining it's going to be extremely good considering how dangerous this biome is, how dangerous the warden is. I have a feeling this is going to be the best loot, the best treasure ever. MittKO00 said, dude, you predicted the cave update. So this was posted on my Minecraft 1.17 and 1.18 already in development video. I don't know. I predict a lot of stuff. People don't be giving me credit, though. I don't feel like people be taking my videos seriously sometimes. So I made this video December 28th, 2019. So <laughs> I guess I sort of did predict the cave update. Let's go, squad. Let's go. I feel like this is always a cool thing to see, like when these actual speculation videos are true. But let's continue. Alex YouTube posted this on my Minecraft 2021 wishlist video. 
I haven't been on the channel forever. You were one of my favorite Minecraft creators when I was young, and you still are one of my favorites. Have a great day. You are too kind, Alex. I hope you have a fantastic week, and I'm just glad to see you back, man. Honestly, you guys are just so kind. My community is the best, and I got your back 100% always, okay? So thanks, Alex. Lucky Boy posted this on my Warden video. Why not bring a team? I mean, if you just prefer to die with other people, die with the squad, the crew, that's completely your choice, I guess, but <laughs> I don't think more people will change the situation. If the Warden can defeat you in two hits with netherite gear, I have a feeling the Warden is just gonna stomp on everybody that enters that biome, regardless of if it's two people, three people, five people, I feel like the best way to approach the Warden, if you are seriously just trying to defeat it, you're not trying to sneak by, you just hate sneaking and being stealthy, try and get it caught up in bedrock somehow and just pour lava on it and pray, I guess. That's probably the best thing I've thought of right now, but I'll make a separate video talking about ways to defeat the Warden. Next up, we got Clickbait by Midnight2004, and he posted that on my Warden video. It's literally the most straightforward video ever. Like, I'm not making this up. Yet, you'll always find this comment. Clickbait. It's the cringiest thing ever. And I can't take it seriously. I don't know if they're thinking about it when they're typing it. But I, it gets me every single time. I don't know. Maybe you guys find it equally funny too. LR Bushido posted this on my 1.19 hint video. I've heard some people say that they might just be revamping old forgotten content in 1.19. So I've actually seen similar comments and theories before as well, like maybe Mojang is planning on introducing all of the old content that was announced from the previous Minecons into one big major update. So the Savannah, the Desert, the Badlands, the Swamp, all of the Minecon losers Basically, put everything into one big update. Obviously, that includes the Moo Bloom as well as the Isolager Gang. Can't forget about the Isolager Gang. So, everything into one major update and maybe add some other things as well, which isn't a terrible idea. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Maybe an update where they focus on all of the old announcements from previous Minecons, maybe even things that they've just talked about a couple times like the Illusioner and the Red Dragon. What else would you guys like to see in an update where they focus on announced features and things that have just been on the back burner for a long time? Dragon Slayer says, Stealth is officially obsessed with the Warden, and that was posted clearly on my Warden video, and yes, I am obsessed. In fact, I want like a Warden pillow, so if someone can make me a Warden pillow, I'll give you my address. No, please don't do that, because I already know someone's going to actually make a Warden pillow for me, even though I would love it. But yeah, I am sort of obsessed with the Warden. It's just one of the coolest mobs ever. You have to admit, it's very different than anything we have currently in Minecraft. Random Person Gaming says, um, you ain't replying to everyone, still waiting. And this is on a video I made about three or four years ago, like a long time ago. But let's go ahead and say, hello, how are you doing today? <laughs> I don't know, man. Some people, I just can't. Michael Carlin posted this on my Illusioner video where I talk about the Illusioner coming to Minecraft eventually. Who knows exactly when? But Michael Carlin says, I would like to see a healer in raids where it would heal the troops and it would come one wave before the Ravagers. And I don't know. That's a crazy idea. <laughs> I feel like that might be a little bit too difficult. Can you imagine a healer that just heals the evokers, vindicators, the witches? Like, how are people going to defeat that? That would just be way too intense. But I don't know, guys. If you feel like this is too challenging, let me know down below. If you feel like raids need this type of challenge, also share your ideas down below. Now, if you guys want to see me do a part two or a part three where I go back a couple weeks ago or a couple years ago and read comments... I can easily make that happen because, I don't know, this is just a blast and you guys 
are really funny, honestly. Like, <laughs> I've been cracking up this entire video. So if you guys want to see me do this more often, just let me know down below in the comment section. Really appreciate everybody. Notification squad. Y'all are the goats. Stealth army. Y'all are the goats. And I'll catch you all in the next video. So take care, everyone. Peace.